Okay. Okay, Ralph, you just finished your PDC here at Green Warrior. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what was your uh, experience like here? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Ye
I thought, you know, I'd come here and just make some friends with, you know, just a typical group, but made friends with a lot of things like the plants and the soil. And that pig that walked around here? The pig, maybe. Oh, yeah. Even like when I when I woke up on the second day, I made friends in the toilet because um, there's an ecosystem there. I never <laughs> You didn't go downstairs, did you? Oh, uh, I just called him from the distance, like long yeah. distance calls only, mate. Yeah. And so, what are you going to do with this permaculture now that you got under your belt? Yeah, so I find that, like, because uh, what I do at home um, is just part of the puzzle. So I, I just do like biomechanics, so healing, like uh, massage and human movement, and um, it's just a small part of the puzzle. And I feel that permaculture is, is the bigger scale, like the five rings of sustainability. Um, it definitely fits in there. I feel like I'm ground zero. Um, yeah, so when I go home, um, made a new good mate, Connor, we'll, we'll start getting going on this, this fellow here, this crazy bunker. And um, yeah, we're probably gonna, yeah, create some business there. We're, uh, probably like, um, we're gonna do like foodscaping. Hmm. Well, I think also that your biomechanics can be a, a form of advanced permaculture because if you can heal people's body, they can they can do more gardening, right? Yeah, absolutely. And they can do more planting and they can, they're, they're more conscious of the world. So the you know, when, they're, they're when they're not in pain and all that sort of stuff. None of this uh, nursery home stuff. All right, mate. Good on ya. And Connor, how hey. did you go on the training? Yeah, good, good. Um, it's interesting seeing how how uh, the training affected my body and mind in a, in a strange way. It opened me up to, I guess, things I weren't ex wasn't expecting to be opened up. You know, theories of perm permaculture aren't necessarily new to me, but. But are you trying to get some of my pimples or something? <laughs> uh, trying to check out the pores in my skin. Nah, but uh, yeah, it was interesting to see some physio physiology physiological changes uh, that, that, that went on and mental changes that went went on through the process. And I think I'm still in the middle of it in some sense. He yeah, kickstarted something, um, broke up some of the monotony of my lifestyle and behaviour, and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to integrate that. Well. There's not really much to integrate because, you know, I'm not going to be necessarily going back to the same life, but I'm curious as to see, you know, what my life is going to form like when I, when I go back to Australia. Well, and how'd you find the food? Oh, the food was really good. The food was really good and uh, nourishing and uh, yeah, energizing. Yeah, right. And it's great to see so much um, natural food without any processes. It tastes so great, right? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it doesn't leave me feel like I've taken a bad drug. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't smell like Manila either. <laughs> and what do you think of the Philippines, mate? Philippines, it's a wild place. It still feels like it's the Wild West or something, you know? Like, uh, it's hard to imagine that, you know, the amount of things that like, actually go on here could go on, especially from when you're when you're from a sheltered country like Australia. But it also makes you appreciate the comforts of, you know, a Western country as well. Uh, see the problems, the pros, the benefits and the cons uh, with, with the countries you live in. You know, it gives you more perspective. It gives you a point of reverence for where you do live. So do you think you could have learned the same course in Australia? No, I think we would have had a very different course in Australia. Not necessarily better or worse, but a very different course. Yeah, I think the course that I have is relevant to the Philippines. And uh, I've learned a lot from the Philippines. So what would be your message to the millennials after this training? Open yourself up to experience. You know, experience as much as you can. Uh, and then find ways to to integrate your experience into what you do. You know, part part of it is going out into the world and going beyond the fenced gates that you know you were raised in, and seeing what's on the other side. You know, further than where, where your parents went, uh, and expanding your horizons, and then figuring out how you can bring back uh, bring back value to your community. You know, go go slay the dragon and get the gold. You know, and share it with the community. All right, mate. Good on you, Connor.